Hi, Pastor David, it's Leela, and I have a question. We ask God to forgive our sins and the hurt that we may have caused. Why is self-forgiveness and letting go of guilt such a struggle at times? Hey, Leela. Oh, my goodness, what a question. I can hear your heart loud and clear. I hope what I'm about to share will add value to your life and everybody that's checking out this clip. So in a nutshell, you ask, hey, listen, why is it, you know, so easy for, you know, yes, God to forgive me, but it's not really easy for me to forgive myself and to release the shame associated with my past. I hear you loud and clear. And again, I hope that I can add value to your life. Let's go ahead and jump in. So here it is. You're exactly right. If you repent, and that word repent simply means to turn, to have a change of heart. If your heart turns from evil back towards God, listen, that is fairly easy because God is a faithful God. He's a merciful God, and he will do that if you truly repent. But here's the thing that I've learned. Just because you've had a change of heart does not mean that the memory has been erased from your past. And that is a struggle. So the scripture that comes to my mind, and I hope this helps you, is found in Hebrews chapter 12. It says, and let us lay aside every weight, every weight and the sin that so easily besets us or ensnares us. So let's look at this here. It's very easy to release people and to you know, release things that really don't matter. But it's that thing that has made it from your mind down to your heart ram that loves to attach itself pretty tightly. And that is a struggle. So I want to tell you, one of the reasons it's easier for repentance is because, yes, God is merciful. And if you repent, he will release you. But it's that thing that's holding on to the memory of your heart. And the Bible lets us know that intentionally we have to lay it aside. It's going to take work. It's going to take effort. It's not something that just evaporates, but you're going to have to intentionally lay it aside. You're going to have to pull it and to place it somewhere else. That takes effort. That takes emotional strength, physical strength even sometimes. An example, if it's a relationship that we're talking about and the Lord has told you to go in another direction, listen, you may have years and years with this person. It's not easy. So how do I lay it aside? Maybe you got to delete those text messages. You got to put those pictures in the, in the past because that weight of that image can literally ensnare you. And the Bible says it's so easy to do that. So I'm telling you, it's going to take effort, but you can do it because God has given you grace. Grace is God's enabling power to do what you cannot do on your own. Let me say that again. Grace is God's enabling power to do what you cannot do on your own. So it says we must lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily besets us. And watch this. When you do that, you're going to be able to run with patience the race that is set before you. Your vision has changed because now you're looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. I hope that this has helped you. I hope that it has added value to your life. Listen, thank you so much for asking Pastor David. Take care. Peace.